everyone, welcome back. I have some sand with me today. And as you see, I have a clipboard under this because last video when I was playing with kinetic sand and making a video with it, it absolutely annihilated my table. It got covered in these little pieces. So today, we're playing with kinetic sand, some more satisfying DIY perks with the kinetic sand. But I want to show you guys something. I've showed this before where you can put rubber bands onto your kinetic sand and it like basically like trims it in a way. Now, if you grab your rubber band and you just like, like let's clean it off, there's a bunch of kinetic sand on it. And if you like shoot the kinetic sand, it does nothing to the kinetic sand. It's as if the kin like wait, where do my rubber bands go? Here. It does nothing to the kinetic sand. It's like as if this is iron and what I'm shooting is a pea. It literally does nothing. Once again, did nothing. Again. Did nothing. It's so weird. Of course, I mean, it's not the main idea of this entire video, but I just want to show that. Now, remember this Play-Doh tool? Well, it works great on kinetic sand. It's actually i think better than on play-doh like if i make a little kinetic sand pillar and just use my trimming thing it actually trims really well plus using a card you can also trim your play-doh or well whatever you're doing this isn't play-doh right now but i have this play-doh tub right here maybe next video i'll pull out some more play-doh and show you guys some tricks with that but yeah this is honestly so satisfying. Just like imagine this. Just close your eyes and imagine that you're in the snow at like a really snowy place and just listen. Doesn't that sound like snow? Is it just me or... Sounds like you're playing in the snow. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Also, this is a new like thing that I got. This isn't the kinetic sand I used yesterday. It's a new one. Still the same brand. Well, of course, same brand. But still the exact same kit, except this one's also another one of those sticking ones. I might make a video on it. I don't know. But yeah, I got this. Oh, what is this? Let me look. Um, the paper says that... Uh, Pyrite, yeah. So this is pyrite, and there should be another one in here somewhere. There should be another one. Oh my god! I think that the pack I got was broken, and come with another one. Not broken, but like it wasn't. What? Oh wait, is it just me or is? Oh, I didn't get the same pack. Sorry about that. Um. I got a different pack this time because this one is like a little more different with like the, you know, it doesn't have two gems in it. It just has one. That's why it was a smaller pack. And now, as you guys can see, this little mountain right here. Now, if you use a card, so it's like this one. This is actually a McDonald's card. You can get it from McDonald's. Like, I don't know if they do it anymore, but I got this a while ago from McDonald's. And it comes in like a nice box, but it's a super rough card, so you can like cut kinetic sand really well with it. And then just look at that, it's a clean layer. Now, if you make one super, super long tower, and make the camera go up a bit more, you know, grab your thing, let me slide it back so you can see a little bit, and just watch this. That is so satisfying. Just look at how it's breaking down. I'm trying to be really nice. I don't know about you guys, but oh, there's a cat here. This is great. I love kinetic sand. Like I said in the other video, where, like, kinetic sand, if you make DIY videos, use kinetic sand. It is so nice. Just playing with it. Listen to it falling. It sounds so nice. 
everything about kinetic sand is so nice besides how messy it is. Like, look at my hand. They're completely covered in green kinetic sand. Now, this is also another thing I want to show. If you're using a little Among Us character, and these are like those Among Us stamps, you can actually use it really well to like stomp them down, but also, it actually stamps it. I find that amazing. Like, look, it just stamped it. That is awesome. Now, also, back to what I was saying about how you can use them to flatten it. Like, look. Like, if you want to make a platform on the top. Done. It's a flat, clean platform. So, yeah. It's nice. And then, I remember from that pocket video I made. Go check that one out after this. Um, I actually used a cutout like this. I cut this out of the card so that I could have a good, like, formation on it. And I could... You can actually use like cut cards like this. Full cards aren't as controllable, but the cut ones, you can make nice like shapes. Like, wait, let me flatten that. All right, now look. You can make like a clean. Circle. So yeah, those are a bunch of tips I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video full of nice ideas. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.